Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something really exciting to share. We are going to explore TwinGate, the easiest VPN solution out there. Perfect for securely connecting to your home server using Docker. Let's dive right in. First things first, you can see here I am on the TwinGate website to get signed up. But we need to download the client first. Now to get started downloading the TwinGate client from the App Store on your Mac OS. It's super simple, just search TwinGate on Mac OS and iOS depending on which device you want to access TwinGate on. With the client downloaded, let's set it up. You'll need to create an account on the TwinGate website. For this demonstration, I'm using a test email, test at test.com, and a sample company name, Awesome Tech Company. In the setup process, you'll be asked for the number of employees and some technical questions. Feel free to select options that suit your needs. We will be keeping it straightforward for this demo. The last step in this setup is changing the network name, I'm going to name my YouTube test. Now that your account is set up, it's time to add a remote network. I'm choosing install on premise for this demo and naming it Tim's Docker host. This is where the magic happens. We'll connect TwinGate to your home server using Docker. In this example, we have two connectors, Shaggy Perch and Shiny Gorilla. Let's start with Shaggy Perch. I'll walk you through the steps to set it up with Docker. First, make sure Docker is installed on your server. After that, we generate tokens, and for security, we need to re-sign in. Then, you'll use the provided Docker code to run the container on your server. Repeat this process for Shiny Gorilla. Now let's create a resource. I'm naming it IP address and specifying home network ranges like 192.168.0.0 slash 24 or 192.168.1.0 slash 24, depending on your setup. If you have services on your home network that look like 192.168.0.65 then you will use the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 option. For services on your home network that look like 192.168.1.65 then you will use the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 option. Before we move on, let's quickly explore some twin gate features like users, groups, devices, and policies. It's a robust platform, so feel free to change anything here you wish, like add users, add groups, or even change policies. But remember the more things you change you may go outside this video which means you may enter the paid tiers of this service. Everything I am doing today is in the free tier. Time to put TwinGate to the test. We'll connect the TwinGate client to the new network we just created. I'll switch over to my iPhone's mobile hotspot and try to access my portainer instance. It won't load, but stay with me. When I turn on the TwinGate client, it's like magic. Instant access to my portainer, securely, and seamlessly. But what about mobile? Let me show you how to connect the TwinGate client on your iPhone to the new network. Turning it off, I'll attempt to access my portainer using my mobile data, and it won't load, but stay with me. When I enable the TwinGate client, portainer access restored even on mobile data. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you want to learn more about me visit my website in the description below. Until next time, happy networking!